I've been in so many houses, but I have not seen this scenario right here. For these holes, three holes are going to get drywalled. What I am going to do for sure is get some stone and wrap the fireplace in the stone going all the way up to the ceiling to really draw your eye to the fireplace. And um, we're gonna be going with the whitewash oak in this room, which is this color right here. So we're just adding some two by fours behind the drywall. So there's enough support to hold the stone and the TV as well, because we don't want this crashing down on this beautiful family. <laughs> on here so we know exactly where the backer board should start and end. So when you are putting stone onto a fireplace like this, I'm going to stone it to give him a modern look. You do not want to put it right onto the drywall. That will not hold. You want to use a porous background like um, cement board or backer board so that is what we're using drilling it in with the back of the suit. we have the studs we mark where the studs are and finally we can begin to tile the stones. just make sure that it's flushed against the drywall completely I'm super excited about this DIY project right here. It is giving this fireplace a makeover. You saw the before pictures. So I want to glam it up and make it more modern for my client. I'm using the Alaska Gray Natural Stack Stone Panels. And you see this two by four right here because this is going to be taking on the vertical weight of these heavy stones while it's setting. And then I will take it off and do the bottom to the right to the, and the left of the fireplace. But why is this right here? Um, it is because I measured these, they are six inches. So from the top all the way here is 60 inches. So that tells me about 10 of these panels are gonna go on this portion of the fireplace. So let's start tiling. Just want to show you guys, I'm using a pre-mixed thin set mortar. You want to use a thin set for stone. As you can see here, it says use for stone. So don't just get your ordinary backsplash mortar.
starting to fill those little gaps to the right, I have my mark right here, the seven and three fourths. I tied in this so it's flushed. And I am going to start cutting and hope this piece works, which it should. <laughs> Cutting has begun. Alright, this is the this, this is the edge I just cut on the wet saw and putting it on. So what I'm doing is putting it, and then you see this little gap, and then I'm pushing it over. And then, use all your strength. So just using the wet saw, cutting them, putting them in, checking the level, make sure we're getting a nice straight edge. And I really love how some of the stone is like popping out and some is more flat, adds a lot of texture to the room. And it just looks so amazing. So we're gonna let this rest for one to two days. And then we'll come back here two days later, take this out and finish stoning the rest. I'm telling you guys, if we can do it, you guys can do it. And you can't, the video can't really pick this up, but there are so many sparkles in this rock which is really nice. Alright everyone, it's Friday and so I'm going to go ahead and take this 2 by 4 out and finishing putting the stone tiles around the fireplace and can't wait to finish this project. Alright, so after all the measurements were done, got five pieces for the right and five for the left. These are nine inches in length. And then I just need a little bit more. So I'm gonna do this final cut right here. Just to um, fill up that little space I have left, I'm gonna need one slab here and one slab here. So I'm just gonna cut this right in half. around the fireplace and that's just to protect the surface and we have cut nine inch tiles here so we're going about two inches into the mantle that we have two flathead screwdrivers at the bottom just to 
bear the weight until everything sets and dries.